I have in our first aid kits is for two people because most of the time, if say Doug gets sick, I'm gonna get sick too. But if you are traveling alone or if you're backpacking, you might wanna scale this down a lot and that's okay too. But make sure you have the necessity items that you need. So let's get into it. Let's see what I take on our trips around the world. I've broken down our first aid kit into three categories. We have over-the-counter medications, prescription medications, and traditional and classic first aid items that you would have in your bag. So I have two bags with me. One of them has all of the first aid and one of them has the prescription over-the-counter medications. First, I'm gonna get into the prescription and over-the-counter medications. So this is my packing cube. I thought you'd all love because doesn't everybody love a good packing cube <laughs> so the first thing is prescription medications now I'm gonna lead into that with a little bit of advice to you make sure that you go prepared to any country you're going to and that you have checked with the CDC and or your doctor or a travel clinic to find out what vaccinations that you need because vaccinations in our country that we have and or diseases that you know, we don't think are common anymore, are very common in other countries like the measles. So make sure you're up to date on your routine vaccines and that you get any vaccinations that you need to go to infected areas or countries that they have, say like yellow fever as we're going to Peru. So we got our yellow fever shots. In addition to that, um, we don't have any regular prescription medications that we're taking but our travel prescription medications that we are taking, we have a, um, an antibiotic that we were given a prescription for. So that is good for any types of, you know, deep cuts and things like that, that you want to keep infection away. It's always great to have a prescription with you. We have malaria medication. So when we are headed to the Amazon, we will take that one day before we head into the area. We also have altitude sickness medication. So when we arrive in Cusco, again, it's taken one day prior to arriving in Cusco. We will take that. So, you know, when you arrive in an altitude of 12,000 feet, it hopefully will diminish the symptoms that you have um, because it really can affect anybody. It doesn't matter what shape you're in or physical condition. It affects people in different ways, the altitude. So those are our prescription medications that I kind of keep in a nice little Ziploc bag. They're all kind of contained. And then I have, I keep with me the, the information on each one because you know you want to make sure that you have it in case some things you can't take with food or should take with food or don't take with dairy products you need to know that information so I have those things now we go to over-the-counter medications so I like to have this bag it will travel with us when we are traveling around but to actually get to the destination I do take out this little bag here that has all of the medications that are necessary should we get sick and if our bags get lost I have it with us so these two will go into my carry-on bag and they are nice and compact Doug will get one I will get the other Very so well. I'm not carrying one. <laughs> so the things that I like to carry in here are you know and again I've kept it in a great little Ziploc bag because they're waterproof watertight they're great um, and then I label the outside because I don't want to have to pull everything out of it and figure out what's inside. If it's not there, I'm not going in this bag. So I basically have a list of everything that's in here. We got cortisone for, for itches. You've got um, Dolcolax, which is a laxative. Again, all of these for any type of situation that can occur. You have Imodium for diarrhea, Gasix for bloating, tummy issues, Pepto-Bismol, tummy issues like when you're eating spicy foods in different countries, anything can affect you. Um, we have been sick many times during our travels with colds and flus. So I have NyQuil Severe, I have DayQuil so that we can actually still function during the day if we are sick. And then I have Tums, Mucinex. Again, these are all like when you're sick and feeling yucky, you, you wanna make sure you have all this stuff. I have Midol, Dramamine, and then what I've done is I have taken them all out of their packages. So, you know, like here, you know, I take it out of its package and I 
put it in the little bag where you can see the little the little things here. But the most important part, again, because you don't remember how much of a dosage to take or what you should and what you shouldn't be taking, is I take, you know, the back page of the dosage and the, you know, directions page and I keep them all in here. So they're all in the back and you can pull it out, you know, if you don't remember what and how much to take. So that's in there. I also like to carry airborne, which is great. And I will throw in when we're doing a lot of walking and hiking, some Epsom salt so you can soak your feet when you get back to your hotel. They are a life saving little salt when you need them. I have some um, aloe vera will not be going on this trip, but that is for, you know, burns and things like that. Um, you would not put it on a regular burn. I also like to carry with us um, little bottles of rubbing alcohol and peroxide. But as you can see, they're in these little cheapy bottles, which are great, you know, for traveling with, but they do not seal great. So I have a special uh, kind of top secret um, little product that I use that keeps anything from spilling. So I'll do a little video. So make sure you subscribe and watch out for my little secret tip on how to make sure nothing leaks again in from your bottles because that is always a problem. Anyway, so these bottles will just go in the plane. You, you can, they're all TSA size. You can take them on your carry on if you want. I have Excedrin, Airborne, like I said, take it out of its package and you can slim things down and just bring that, that little thing. I have Tylenol, Halls for sore throat. And then we have the Afterbite. Do you wanna have Afterbite? Cause anytime you have, uh, or you're going to the Amazon or somewhere, you're gonna get bites. So that, that's a helpful thing. You have Polysporin, which my mom sent me from Canada. Thank you, mom. Here in the United States, they call it Neosporin. So all you Canadians know Polysporin. Which is better. <laughs> And then um, there, you know, we just have another one that, that we got from the dermatologist for like, you know, scratches and stuff. This is a lot of stuff, but you can slim it down, decide what you want to take. I'm going to leave a list down below so you can kind of go through the checklist and everything that you need and or don't need or want to take with you. So again, that's all the things that will be in my packing cube and the two things will come out to go on my carry on. Now for the first aid kit love the little bag because it's red and says first aid it's so cute but again it is a lot of stuff in here but there's nothing I don't think that I don't have and if you did find something that I don't have please leave a comment below and tell me what I'm missing and or tell me what you don't agree with I I'd like to hear it all so we got lots of cotton swabs in here we have moleskin if you're gonna be doing a lot of walking it's great for heels toes Thermometer. If you're sick, you got to know when you need to go to the doctor if you have a fever. So for myself, I have a little bag of wound care that is all latex free because latex affects me. So I need to have my own stuff. So if something happens to me and Doug needs to look after me. It says wound care for the latex free girl. And then I also have, you know, the tape because I can't have any other types of tape. That's what keeps on these bandages that don't stick. So I've got medical tape. You can bring medical tape. We have cold compresses for achy bones or joints or anything. Or if you have, you know, a fever, you can reduce your fever with or it. Or a hot day in the Amazon. Or a hot day in the Amazon. We might just be busting these open. <laughs> so um, let's see what else we got in here. Antibacteria. You're out. I got a couple cold cold uh, compresses in here and different types of gauze. So this kit itself came with a lot of this, which I left some and then I added some of my own. This is kind of the fun side, which has everything. You've got bandages, things for sprained wrists or arms, more first aid bandages, cause you gotta have different sizes of bandages. You have gloves. Because if someone's hurt, as I actually put a cleat through my foot, yes, on a boat one time, and I had a huge gash in my foot, um, 
It's nice when somebody has gloves and they can take care of you. Doug did not at the time, but I really didn't care because I was just like, take care of my foot. But if something happens, you want to help somebody else, you don't want to get blood on you, make sure you have some gloves. We've got a triangle band-aid bandage, which is for arms, things like emergency, survival blanket, burn gel. So this is the burn gel that you would use on a burn. It's not a sunburn, you want to use burn gel. More cold compresses. I'm really big on the cold compresses. Let's see, over here we have, this is kind of an important one, a little temporary filling. So you can, you know, have that if a little cap comes off, a filling comes out, definitely handy to have. We have these little sticks which are splints, so they're great if you, say, broke a finger or a toe to kind of splint it, help you until you get to a doctor. Maybe it's even not like medically like necessary to get there right away. So, you know, you could still do things for a couple days with that on. We have nail clippers, safety pins, tweezers, Q-tips, all of these things, a whistle. So all of these things, you at some point in your travels in your life you will need so it's better to come prepared and again like i said narrow down what you need take my kind of kit and use it to your liking now i'm going to give you another little tip so as you know when you get packages delivered to you they have these little um packs inside them of silica and these are great. I throw them inside everything. So I actually buy a large pack and it is from Dry and Dry Company. And they're great because they actually change color when they have been fully absorbed with moisture. But lots of things in humidity really get ruined. So, you know, if you have, again, I, I am, I like to have things double bagged and stuff and I have, you know, baggies, everything in baggies and stuff. But even in this, because it's, it's a paper product, throw one of these little silica bags in there and it will keep it always fresh and especially like us going to the Amazon, it is gonna be so humid. So having these and everything to take the moisture out of the air from this is a benefit. So things don't get ruined over time. I hope this has been helpful to you. I have had a lot of travel experience and I kind of know what you need and what you don't need. I've crashed scooters in Thailand. I have been chased and attacked by sea lions. I have been stung by jellyfish. I've stepped on cleats. I've been stung by other types she of things. She sat on fire coral. I sat on fire coral. I've bit by donkeys. I mean, I've kind of covered the gamut and that's just a few things. It's just things that happened to me. But I definitely take advantage of these things a lot. So it's great to have anything that you can bring with you but make sure you take some type of first aid kit when you travel i've also included a full checklist below in the description area so that hopefully you can benefit from my experience and you can customize it to your liking watch for our other upcoming videos lots of tips tricks photography videos our travel videos lots of fun stuff thanks so much for joining me and make sure you subscribe click the bell and most of all go out enjoy the world and have fun